Hickbomb. Had to wait for the traffic to catch up. Silvani kept on going. Whoa! Oh, Milburn has collected another one. Oh, dear. That does not look good. Those images were just terrible. Well, Carlton, I just cannot believe Carlton's run of luck today. This has been extraordinary for them. Oh, that was the contact. And the head really hit the ground hard as well. Great courage from Stu Silvani. Always shows that. Oh. Whew. Looked like he may have been nearly out before he hit the ground. Yeah. Oh, that is just one of the saddest images of AFL football on that replay then. Well, I don't think he'll smile when he sees the replay. Well, he's frustrated, Milburn. He's lost it a little bit here. He was smiling at the Carlton players. Now the Carlton bench have given him an earful there too. Looks like the runner there is Peter Maynard. Yeah, Give a bit of a spray. Stuck it with a bit of a go as well. Yeah, no Still doubt, going. boys. The, the, the Carlton runner's having to go at him too. The Carlton supporters having to go. He, he, he do best to just sit down and shut up. Yep. Now this, Absolutely. This is the reason why the benches were separated at the MCG. Well, there's a guy over the fence here. It's just getting a little bit unsightly. Yeah, you idiot. Well, the main concern. well, this is unsightly now because he's very close to the Geelong people here. Now, someone's going to get rid of that guy and get rid of him quickly. Get off the There's a Carlton supporter having a go at the back of the bench here as well. So this is really a rut. Richard Osborne, you're very close to it down there. Is it, tensions are obviously bubbling over. Yeah, look, I, if I was uh, Geelong, let's hope nothing happens, but I, I'd be getting Darren Milburn off and into the rooms because there's some pretty fired up supporters here. Uh, yeah, obviously, Stephen Silvani, well, security a favourite Security have got to step in here too because it. And the police here. These are just scenes that we do not want to see in our great game. Well, they're scenes of a bygone era in football, aren't they? Let's just hope Stephen now, Silvani's okay. That's security, the, security the, the police have there. finally arrived on, on the, the boundary ground. line. Now, that's, there's not much police presence here today, I must say. The security guards have come in and they've just trying to hold up until the police get involved. Now, the police have arrived. That, that guy is the guy in the middle there in the brown who belted the back of the bench. We had another guy around to the right who's almost hurled the fence to abuse Darren Milburn. And Milburn did himself no favours with his smile and his clap as he came off the ground. And, well, we're not forgetting about Stephen Silvani and certainly it's very sad to see what's happened to him on the other side of the ground at the moment. This has just been an upsetting day, hasn't it, all round? I think Ozzy's right. Get Darren Milburn into the rooms now. Just get him off away from the action here. Simple as that. You're right, Oz. Spot on. Well, there's two minutes to go, so they'll probably wait. There's Justin Murphy. Didn't look pleased with Milburn either. No, shakes the head. The Carlton bench will let him all know about it. Now, spare a thought for Stephen Silvani. That's the good sign there. He's trying yeah, to sit yeah, up. He's he conscious. is yeah. conscious. His eyelids are fluttering and, and he's aware. And let's be pleased for that, for starters, that Stephen Silvani's OK. Boundary line now. The police are still getting involved. There's two more police walking around the, whole the boundary. Team, the whole team's going over to Steve Silvani, the Carlton side, the whole lot of them. Ozzy, you're right in the heart of the action down on the boundary line. Just update us as to what's happened with the security and the, and the men on the fence. Well, that, that guy we can see on camera with, with the ball down, he's still pretty fired Good up. He, he, he doesn't want a, want a bar of the police being around all the security. He just wants to get it down Mil Milburn. And right. as I said earlier, if I was down Milburn, I'd be getting off the ground right now. I'd be going in the rooms. Well, that bloke should have been taken away, if not from the ground, certainly from the area. Well, there's, there's virtually no police presence here today at all. Well, There's two policemen down the boundary line inside the ground, and that's it. Now, that's not being critical of anyone. I don't know how the system works. There's a couple over here, Hutch. We land the boundary over here, not far from the scoreboard, the Sam Smorgan scoreboard. Just sort of. There's a, a number of security guards in yellow, but. Just stupid questions. Is there some strike, something still? Is that still. 
Yeah, that all pay, gone now. Pay Hello. claim is still uh, still, going, still going on. on. But I, I'm, hopefully that hasn't affected well, the numbers here today. In essence, here. In essence, Darren Milburn's got police protection on the boundary line. That's not being over drastic of what's happened here at Optus Oval. 26,314 people here this afternoon. Not and it's fair to say that there. a fair portion of those are really getting angry with what they're seeing. And four or five of them particularly gone mad. And that's an amazing scene in a modern day AFL game to have two policemen patrolling the boundary in front of Darren Milburn, who's getting all sorts of abuse over the fence over that clash with Stephen Silvani. It's unsightly, it's not what the game needs. And it's certainly something that, in the cool light of day tomorrow, many people involved will regret on and off the field.